Okay, so now we're the, at the intro to the MBA job search, right? And now we really want to figure out what does this mean, okay? And so what we're going to talk about today in the next uh, 75 minutes, <coughs> so we're going to go with this, these, these highlights, okay? So we're going to talk about pre orientation. So we're going to, you know, tie that in. And then we're going to talk about this orientation strategy. And then we're going to talk about what employers expect. Resumes and interviews, corporate recruitment game, MBA job search game, and all of that, okay? So that's just to give you uh, give you that overview. Let's go ahead and talk about CMC pre orientation. And let me just get a quick poll. What did you guys get from that? Anybody? What, what did you get from those, those assignments? I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your understanding. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I like that. Understand is good.
Now, some of you probably say, you know what? I came back to the <coughs> purpose. I know exactly what I want to do. That's fine. You can focus on that. You're still going to, you know, learn other things as well the more you talk to people. But it was good about exploration, okay? Because now we're at the expectation stage. So that's where we are in this, this employability roadmap. Because make no mistake about it, it's all about being employable. And I told you, remember, I said I'm thinking three years past when you actually finish the MBA program. Okay? So it's basically five years from now. That's that's what my mindset is. Okay, so the internship, full-time job, what you do in between, all that is part of that process, okay? That's the journey. But I want to see like where are you three years after you graduate from the program? How do you feel? How do you feel about your career prospects? How do you feel about uh, your companies to lead a team or to switch careers within your company or to take on different uh, leadership responsibilities or what have you, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, what can we do now to set that foundation to where you're feeling good when you finish this program five years out? Just say, hey, I, I, I have tools and I need to change jobs. I know what to do. I, I have a process. It's ingrained in my brain, right? Quick story. I didn't learn how to drive a stick shift until seven years ago. Right? It was always a lifelong dream of mine. Because my dad sold, he sold us our six year when I was like, right about to turn 16. So I never learned. And then living in Europe, I mean, you gotta know how to drive a stick. So I was just so ashamed. No, I can't drive. He's like, oh, man, just drive a car. No, I can't drive. I took lessons, man, I felt so ashamed. Big old tall six and six guy. The little car, the little driver thing goes like, oh, man. But you know, they had it, right? So you know, I, I finally learned, and I haven't driven since I left Europe, but it's something I know if I get in the stick ship, I can do it. So it's like riding a bike, basically, long story short, right? So it, it's like, what you're gonna learn now, it's gonna carry through three years out, five years out, 10 years out, because you gotta know the game, you gotta know the process. You just gotta adapt, right? So where are the expectations? And it's about the expectations from the employers, right? Expectations that we have of you, and ultimately, <coughs> the expectations you have of yourself and what you want to get out of the program. So this is what the two-day CMT orientation is about. It's about the expectation, understanding, okay, what does it take for me to achieve my individual career goal, okay? That's where we are. So why do employers hire an MBA, and why do they pay so much money for them, right? So let me just reiterate, like, Average salaries are just that average salary. Don't go to a company and say, hey, you know, according to the staff, <laughs> average salary is about 95, so that's what I should be getting. 